Can you imagine being a Ukrainian right now? Perspective. Our next guest expected to travel to the U.S. for a fashion show, but was interrupted by war. Not only did she flee Ukraine, but she did it in a wheelchair. Check out our interview with Ukrainian model Oksana Kononets. Welcome to DBL, Oksana. Okay, so many of us wonder, what was life in Ukraine like before the war started? Uh, before uh, the war, I was uh, uh, organizer of uh, our Ukrainian beauty contest for people with disabilities, for girls uh, in a wheelchair, for men in the wheel, uh, wheelchairs. Now, you've been in a wheelchair for 10 years, so I want to tell the audience and share the story of what happened. Yes, I had a mistake and I fell down from the fifth floor. After that, uh, I, uh, uh, I broke my uh, neck. Uh, first time when I woke up on the fourth day on, at hospital, I see this I can, can't move anything. Any pieces of body, also my shoulders, uh, I can't move this. I can't breathe without mask or uh, with oxygen. It was hard for me. So can you tell us about the moment that you knew that you had to escape from Ukraine? Before the war, uh, we had a plan to participate in a fashion show in Los Angeles, and we had the tickets on the 26th of February. But war started 24th of February, two days before. I wrote to the organizers that I will not come. I say in Kiev, I can't escape Ukraine. But on the six days, Mama say, let's took our luggage and we go somewhere. Where we go, we don't know. I just, I wanted to ask you, uh, being in a wheelchair is difficult. So how difficult was it for you to escape your country as a person with a disability? It was uh, very hard because uh, everyone want to uh, escape Kiev uh, and they didn't look if you're in a wheelchair or not, uh, you don't use a wheelchair. My mama also have a disability. It's uh, 11 hours on my wheelchair. My foot was uh, very dirty because they sent on my foot. Oh, uh, wow. They hustle uh, a lot of people. This crowd is hustle. We had no place uh, in train. What did you bring yes. with you? Uh, we took only one luggage for two persons. Uh, after surgery, I uh, use uh, I eat a lot of medicines. Half of luggage was with my medicines. Wow. Uh, and uh, we took only uh, yes one luggage with uh, uh, clothes for the cold weather. Well, I, I want to ask, do you feel a sense of safety now that you're here in the United States? Yes, I feel that I'm in safety. Our hearts are, are broken because our family, our friends, they still in Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine, a lot of people die. Uh, my people, Ukrainian people died uh, because uh, Russian military, they bombed on the maternity hospitals, uh, children's hospitals. Since uh, of the start of war, the uh, Russian people killed more than 135 p uh, children. A lot of people of disability, old people are uh, also killed. Civilian people die. Oksana, what mm -hmm. message are you hoping to get across to Americans and your fellow Ukrainians? For every people around the world, I want to say this war is very hard and afraid to think. I have not a winner because die people from the different sides. Ukraine is peaceful country. We like peace, but we don't give anything over. Our land we didn't, uh, we don't give. To the another people, I want to say, live your life, be more, ca more kind, uh, ki kindness to each other and take care, your, uh, to ca take care of yourself and never give up. Be this be, I want to yeah. say everyone. I Unbelievable. Be kind. Uh, love your fellow community. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Oksana. Yes. It's an honor to meet you. It is an honor, and we will be thinking of you, your fellow Ukrainians, your family. We're praying for peace. DBL Nation, be sure to follow along Oksana's journey and her website and Instagram. We'll be right back. Thank you, Oksana. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. You were great. Have a good day. Bye.